Yechia Sinwar, the leader of Hamas and the mastermind behind the October 7th massacre, has been killed. His death marks a pivotal moment in this tragic war that started just over a year ago. Sinwar rose to power as a founding member of Hamas's military wing, the Qassam Brigades. His ruthless tactics earned him the name the Butcher of Khan Yunus for his role in identifying and executing by hand Palestinians suspected of collaborating with Israel. In 1989, Sinwar was arrested for orchestrating the kidnapping and murder of two Israelis and four Palestinians, leading to a life sentence in prison. In 2011, he was released in exchange for an Israeli soldier held hostage in Gaza. Despite receiving life-saving medical treatment from Israeli doctors during his time in jail, Sinwar remained committed to violence. He rose to the top of Hamas's leadership in Gaza by 2017, strengthening the group's ties with Iran and transforming Gaza into a launch pad for terror. Under his leadership, Hamas's operations expanded and its reliance on Iran's support deepened, using civilian infrastructure to shield military operations. Sinwar's October 7th massacre didn't just target Israel, it pulled the entire region into war. Gaza, the West Bank, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, and Iran were all drawn into this conflict. Tens and thousands of lives have been lost, and the region has been plunged into chaos, with both Israelis and Palestinians suffering under the weight of his reign of terror. Sinwar did not promote peace or a two-state solution. He was not some sort of a freedom fighter, but a jihadi terrorist whose aim was to slaughter as many people as he possibly could in order to create a Hamas-led Islamist caliphate from the river to the sea. Those who celebrated him as a hero would tragically mistake him. He saw the coming of regional peace between Israel and the moderate Sunni countries of the region, and he deliberately acted to destroy it, sacrificing Gaza in the process. Under Sinwar's leadership, Gaza was plunged into deeper suffering with generations growing up in conflict and despair. Now, with Sinwar gone, the world is one step closer to dismantling Hamas and breaking the cycle of violence in the Middle East. It is time to free the Palestinian people from the jihadi grip of Hamas and bring the hostages home.